Hello and welcome to another video from Midas Touch Toys Games Collectibles and today we are looking at the 2006 release by Corgi from their James Bond 007 series of 164 scale die cast model vehicles and this particular series we are looking at today are the ones that came on the turn dial trivia pack cards um, so each of the model um, sat on a sat in a twist dial um, and it gave you trivia on the particular bond movie or the model um, from that particular uh, that this particular item relates to okay so this is the item in front of us and it says james bond 007 turn dial to unlock facts we come to that in a moment and it is of little nelly um, the uh, gyrocopter and it is item number T195126. And you've got the Corgi logo at the bottom. And it says, warning, choking has a small parts, not for children under three years old. Okay, so that is the front of the card. Now, before we get into having a good look at the model and the trivia um, dial, I just want to turn the card over and let's see what we've got on the back. Okay, so I'll turn the card over and this is what we've got on the back. So it's again, you've got the Corgi logo on the top left-hand corner. And James Bond 007. And then it shows you the other one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight vehicles in this particular series. So you've got the TY95702, which is Lotus underwater model, uh, the TY95609, which is a Rolls Royce from Goldfinger, and the, the Lotus underwater is obviously from the Spy Love Me, the TY95302, the Aston Martin DB5, um, and that was from um, Goldfinger. Uh, the TY95402, the Jaguar XKR from Die Another Day. Um, TY95202, the Aston Martin Vanquish, and that was from Casino Royale. Uh, TY95502, BMW Z3, can't remember where that was from. The TY95802 Space Shuttle, which is obviously Moonraker. And TY95126, Little Nelly, which I think was from Diamonds Are Forever. Okay, you've got www.007.com, 007, and then you've got all the copyright information and the licensing agreements at the box at the bottom, and the barcode, corgi.co.uk, and the um, warning, item, warning signs. Okay, so that is the back of the card. So let's turn it back around to the front, and let's have a good look at the item itself. Okay, so I've turned the car back around to the front, and let's just bring it in closer, um, because you can see um, the model in the middle there, uh, Little Nelly, and you can see it's on a twist dial pack. And the, 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 just at the top there, it says the gyrocopter featured in, and the answer at the bottom, if we turn the, that up the other way, it says you only live twice. So that's question number one. Let's turn the dial around, and it says... look for missing spaceships and it says the gyrocopter was used to oh okay so i'm looking at the answer first <laughs> right okay so it was the gyrocopter was used to look for missing spaceships and we've got who invented the gyrocopter in real life and that was wing commander ken wallace it was transported in what? And that is a large suitcase. And then we're back to the front. The gyrocopter featured in You Only Live Twice. Okay, so that is the dial pack. So you get a little bit of trivia on the uh, gyrocopter. And let's just get some size of this model. It's 164 scale. So we're looking at seven centimeters in length. Now the wingspan is 10 centimeters. And height-wise, we are looking at about four centimetres. So that's the size. Obviously, you, you do have some functionalities on here. You've got wheels at the bottom. Um, as you just see those that, that go around. Obviously, the, the propeller rotates, uh, the blade rotates, and you've got a propeller at the back, which also rotates. Um, and you've got James Bond figure holding his gun uh, sitting in the cockpit, if you can just see that there. Um, it's die cast metal. I think most of it is metal. There's a few little bits of plastic on it, uh, but not a great deal. Uh, but it is a nice little model. 
but it, it is little. It is a 164 scale, so it's a very, very small model. But again, these were a nice series of models, and the, the selling point on these for Corgi was the Trivia Dial Packs. Um, because they had done these models in various different scales over the years, um, and it was just a, a it was another gimmick to re-release these models um, again. Basically, um, they have been done I don't know how many times before, um, but a, again, two thousand six, they come up with the idea of putting them on the trivia packs. Um, they also did the Casino Royale one. Uh, I think that's where it started with Casino Royale. Uh, and then these came out, these followed. Um, so it was a good ploy for them to um, to reissue the models again. Because um, as I say, they had been out two or three times before um, on different cars, different backing and what have you. Um, so nothing exceptional about the model, nothing different to the previous releases. It is the same model, just repackaged. So how well did this series do? Well, yeah, like all the Corgi Bond um, models they've always always sold very well and this series was no exception again very good sales um, again it's all the TV related models they all just seem to, to TV and film related all just seem to fly they always always sell very very well and then say this series is no exception um, yeah a, a good run um, uh, the, this series ran for a couple of years before they discontinued it uh, but again, a, a, a very good, healthy sales um, of these models. Uh, now, of course, we're talking, um, getting on now for 18 years later. So finding them now in these unopened packs um, with a trivia all still intact, um, in mint condition, in other words, is quite difficult. Uh, they occasionally come up from time to time on the platforms. Um, which you can get just as good as this on the platforms if you so wished. Um, but, um, but yeah, again, you've got to wait for them to come up. Um, so, yeah, quite difficult to find, but they do occasionally uh, emerge. However, we at Minus Touch have managed to find quite a few of these, and they're currently available to purchase on the Minus Touch website, which you can get to quite simply by clicking the link below. It'll take you straight to the website, and you'll be able to find this and many other vintage James Bond items. And many other vintage toys, games, and collectibles come to that. There's over 10,000 products currently available on the website for you to view and purchase at your leisure. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button because we're uploading videos for every new item that goes into the website. There will be something for everybody. And I am absolutely positive that you're not going to want to miss this. Because we literally have thousands and thousands of new products which we're shooting videos for and uploading on a daily basis. So if there is something in particular you are looking for, Something old that you've never been able to find. Something quirky that you might want to buy for a friend. Or maybe just something from your childhood that you'd like to own again to help you recuperate those long lost childhood memories. Well, stay tuned, keep watching, because you never know the next item we upload could be that item you've been looking for. Okay, that is it for me on this particular item. I do hope you've enjoyed this very short video. Thanks for watching, and we will see you again soon.